Red Bull is extending checkout. Now, it's a two-year extension. It was strange to see them actually put the length on it because generally, every single time we've like recently have seen an extension, they haven't really given us a time frame. But this wasn't like a two plus one or anything. It was just a straight two-year deal. Now, I wasn't expecting this to be Red Bull's big announcement that they had planned. They had to shift it because of the Ocon, like Ocon leaving Alpine. It kind of messed it up. I wasn't expecting this. Now, it seems like everyone's like semi-split on this um, in terms of Checo re-signing. Like these comments on this, his post are like, these are rough. Like pretty much everyone's roasting him. All of the top comments are somebody like, either sad Carlos didn't get it. Personally, I'm kind of sad Carlos didn't get it. I would have liked to see Carlos in the Red Bull, um, but it's Carlos deserving the seat. Um, people are saying they're disappointed. Um, there's better drivers. This response here um, about Mexico supporting Jacko, that's obviously, that's amazing, which is, you, that's the great thing about him. He's got the whole country behind him. But the bad part is, is if Red Bull somehow loses the constructors this year, which they easily could, you know, they're only down 20 points to Ferrari. They're only up by like 20 points. The margin between them and Ferrari right now is 25 points. So they're up by about 25. And if they lose this constructors this year, next year is going to be even worse. Cause then you got to deal with Charles and Lewis. Then plus whoever Merck signs, you still have McLaren. Um, so it could get really, really interesting. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Checo extension uh, with Rebel.